YouTube is just a light with all this stuff about the Tesla uh, Roadster. So, in case you don't know, uh, Tesla is a uh, motor vehicle company with a bit of a unique selling point or a point of difference. It's an electric car company or motor vehicle company and it actually it's more than that now it produces um, uh, solar panels because it purchased uh, the company solar city and it's also got the Tesla Powerwall which are lithium-ion batteries so it's got um, it's an energy company now uh, it's got solar panels and electric battery storage it's also a, uh, a vehicle company so they started off with uh, Lotus Elise, I believe, in putting their battery technology and electric motors in a, um, a Lotus Elise. And then they came out with the Model S and then the Model X, which is an SUV, um, uh, SUV version of the Model S. And then they brought out the Model 3, which made history because uh, it was the most... Um, pre-ordered product in the history of history ever and so 500,000 people approximately put down a thousand dollar deposit to purchase this car so it's the biggest product launch value of anything ever uh, even more mega than Apple iPhone so Anyway, 500,000 people put down the deposit. It's a $35,000 US electric vehicle. Now, Tesla are unique in that they only make electric vehicles. So, their first car was a Roadster and they'd sold 2,500 copies or something like that. And anyway, it was, you know, it got bagged out on um, Top Gear. And there was a bit of a legal suit because Top Gear said that it ran out of battery and overheated and all this sort of stuff, which Tesla says that the computer um, says no. Yeah, computer says no. And anyway, a lot of... There's a sort of a similar air uh, around Tesla products that there is to um, Apple products. So... The fans are really a loyal legion of fans, and there's a lot of techie people. Like Tesla cars are computer driven. You know, the computers are, and the big, massive 17 inch touch screen in the Model S and the Model X. And so, all the tech people, uh, especially in the United States, they just go crazy for Tesla. Well, anyway, this week they have bought out uh, a reveal event. They have reveal events with new cars, products, and uh, so, like the uh, the tile, solar panel tiles, stuff like that, and you know, the Model S and the Model X and the Model 3. So, this one they revealed their semi trailer, right? So, it's a, uh, a semi trailer that uh, for haulage, cargo haulage, just like a semi trailer truck. Uh, however, it's battery driven, it's got 500 miles of range, it'll do 0 to 60 miles an hour in 0.5 seconds unladen just with the cabin or the trailer and it'll do 60 miles an hour 0 to 20 seconds um, fully loaded with the maximum legal weight in the United States so anyway out of the semi trailer at the event comes a car right rolling out of the semi trailer and it's the new Tesla Roadster and the two new Tesla Roadster, it got just like people were going crazy at the event, like the hoots and hollers, going nuts over it. And then you know, it's a really beautiful car. It's got shades of um, a Porsche. It looks a little bit like a Porsche. It looks a little bit like a McLaren, especially at the back with the, the thin sort of narrow at the hips and, and wide. Yeah, so it's like a... Uh, yeah, a little bit like a McLaren at the back. And anyway, its statistics are, and this is for the base model, right? Zero to 60 miles an hour, which is 100 kilometers an hour in uh, Australia and the United Kingdom and I think Europe have the metric system. Um, in 1.9 seconds. 
So that's, according to Tesla, the fastest production car ever. Like, ever. Um, now, there are modified cars and things like that that have been faster, like apparently the Hennessy um, is, does 1.54 or 1.6, and there are modified cars, but production car. And the hyper cars, like, you know, McLarens and stuff, they do there in the 2.4s, 2.7s. It does the base model in 1.9, and, and it will um, do a quarter mile in under nine seconds. Uh, it's got 1,000 kilometers or 640 something miles of range per charge. So you charge your car up and it will do 1,000 kilometers before you've got to charge it again. So this just blows the lid on range anxiety for electric vehicles. So, uh, yeah, and they're bringing out, Tesla have got, um, you know, their supercharger network all over the world and it's growing day by day, year by year. Uh, so it looks like that the future of transportation is electric.